What began as a humble gathering of friends has grown into a vibrant ensemble dedicated to sharing the rich cultural heritage of Scotland with the Bay Area and beyond. Joining me now to share more about the San Francisco Scottish Fiddlers is founder and renowned musician Alistair Fraser. Alistair, thank you so much for joining us here at Live in the Bay. I am delighted. And you dressed up for me as well. I, did. <laughs> I always wear my kilt in San Francisco. I love the outfit. I it's love great. It. Nothing better than strutting down the street, you know, in your kilt and <laughs> celebrating spring and putting a dance in the in the. Air, I know. agree. So thank you so much for bringing <laughs> this beautiful outfit to our uh, show as well today. You started this group about 35 years ago. Yeah, you know, I, the fiddle is my life. I've, I've played since I was a kid and I've used it to explore, you know, to, to explore the Scottish condition. I like to talk about that. Um, but to celebrate being alive, really, the, the traditional music is there for all of us. It's, there, it's a community-based art form, you know, where kids can play it and they can learn from the elders and we play for dances. And, you know, I grew up going to village halls and to Cayleys and I saw the power of music, the, its ability to, to get people off the, off the sofa, you know, and, and moving, but also expressing our hearts, you know, expressing the emotions uh, that, that you feel. And so I feel very lucky to, to play this instrument. Yeah. And I, I recommend to people, you know, that you follow the fiddle. You know, you won't go wrong. <laughs> it will lead to many adventures. Lots of fun times with the fiddle, right? So I read that you placed an ad in the newspaper to see if there were any musicians that might want to join you. And so tell me about kind of the progression of how this has turned to now over 60 artists from starting with an ad in a newspaper. Yeah. You know, well, I was very impressed um, when I first came to, to California, to the Bay Area, in fact. And, you know, I played. I played in various um, venues and I played in, in bars and I had sessions, you know. And, but people were very genuinely interested in what goes on under the hood, so to speak. You know, how do, how do these tunes work? How do you express the music? How do you express the idea? How do you play in a way that makes, makes people want to dance? I had so many questions that I thought, let's have a gathering. So initially we were in my, my house, and then we got too big for that, so we started putting up notices in libraries and papers saying, Let, let's gather. And then we had our first fiddle camp with, at, up in Valley of the Moon in Sonoma County. And, you know, it was a, just a complete act of faith and adventure to see what would happen. <laughs> I love living on the edge of what if. What if, what if we see what will happen? Who will come? Mm -hmm. And I remember we put out a table in, in the middle of a field and uh, we had 37 people who came for a week to study Scottish fiddle music. Wow. And from then on, it doubled, basically. And here we are 41 years later, you know, having run all these camps. And, you know, I've, I've enjoyed a very fantastic time touring the world as a, as a fiddler violinist. Mm -hmm. But also what gives me greatest pleasure, I think, is when I can get community together, um, learning and celebrating. I think that's the main thrust of what the San Francisco Scottish Fiddlers yeah. is about. And we get these, we develop what I call nurturing loops. So you have some of the older players and adults, you know, or professionals who are, you know, the best in their category. Um, they're sharing the same space as some little kids who are just coming in for the first time. Mm -hmm. And so you get this very natural nurturing loop where you can learn and you can teach. And I think there's something very ancient about that. You know, it's like being in the village. Yeah. Where you do what has to be done. That brings out the magic with all the musicians, right? Well, that's it. And it, it's, not a, it's not a competitive, judgmental atmosphere. It's a supportive, wow, look what we did, look yeah. what we achieved. And I always say that there's no one can express yourself yourself better than you can mm -hmm. you know and that can be quite illuminating for people as they realize that they have a a voice yeah. you know uh, and maybe you've only been playing a few years but you have a voice you have something to say and we encourage that and then you mix it together and you get 70 people on stage and it's mad yeah well you speaking know. of the 70 people on stage you guys are hitting three bay area stages this weekend tell me about the different performances that people can come check out well, we begin tomorrow night. We hit the road tomorrow. We head up to Davis to the Veterans Memorial Hall, 7 p.m. 
And then we're off to Santa Rosa, which is one of our centres. Many of our members live in that in the Sonoma County. Uh, at the Glazer Hall, Glazer Centre, beautiful venue. And then Sunday, a matinee performance at, for, at one of my homes in the Bay Area. I think of it as my sort of Bay Area living room, <laughs> <laughs> besides this one, um, at the Freight and Salvage in, in Berkeley, which is a place that I've played many times. So we take the whole shebang and we put it right in the, in the hub of Berkeley there. And it's always great. You know, the, we have audiences that have come out for forever i get i get letters from people saying you know i, I came 30 years ago when wow. are you playing this weekend so yeah it's 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 about the music but it's about more than the music it's about what can people do when they gather and it's it's lively you know we have spontaneous dancing actually we have a lot of spontaneous happenings um which i love i love kind of improvising with the energy so. D the Can't energy wait. between all the different audiences. Yes, I can see the passion all over your face. <laughs> what keeps you so passionate 35 years later, playing the fiddle and getting together for, bringing all these musicians together for these celebrations of music and your heritage? You know, it's, it's the power of music. I, I live in awe of music and, and the ability of this instrument, the, the fiddle, the violin, there is no difference, by the way. Um, but, you know, all across the planet, every culture pretty much has a way of exciting people by playing dance music on an instrument like this. And Scotland is one great example. So I, I live in awe of that. And there are certain ways to play that celebrate the groove. Mm -hmm. You know, there are ways to play where you kind of deliver energy. And... Um, once, once you, you hit that, there's no going back. Well, Alistair, you're <laughs> actually going to give us a little sneak peek of what you do on the stage. So tell me about what you're going to play for us here today. Ah, well, um, then I have to decide now. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to play a great reel written by a bagpiper friend of mine. His name's Fred Morrison, and it's called the Lochaber Badger. A strange name. Um, but it's, it's just a fantastic energy tune that, that I love and then I'll, I'll up the ante up the energy into a into a, a classic bagpipe jig so we play pipe tunes as well as um, many other types of music on the fiddle also